So hello everyone. So till now we have discussed all the four modules of uh, network analysis, module questions. So we are going to start with the fifth module. So we will let start with the nine A question here. So here we need to find the Z and T parameters. Okay, for this network shown. So in this network we need to find the required Z and T parameters. Okay. So here we have a, a complex network here, and here again the same thing. Uh, name the loops, and here we can see that uh, the current directions are opposite here, I one and I two. So the loops also loop wherever the current directions are. The same way keep the direction of the loop as well. So this is the direction of loop I one, and this is the opposite direction of loop I two. And uh, I mean name the loop I three as it is. So here you can see that I three is equal to minus two E three because this loop we have already a current source but in the opposite side. So this would be I three equal to minus two E three here. So now we have uh, we have asked to found the they have asked to found the Z and T parameters. So first write the standard equations for uh, Z parameters here. So then apply KVL for this loop. So we would be getting one equation. Name it as equation one. Compare this equation one this with the this. Uh, One first equation of the z parameter that is v one. So here we can see that z one one is there, right? Z one one that is equal to three here, right? So the coefficient of z one one here in place of uh, coefficient of i one here is three, right? So z one one we can write it as three ohms. Same goes with z one two that is equal to five. Okay. So the same thing here. Uh, apply KVL at uh, second loop. And uh, we would be getting an equation like this. So here, this corresponds to z21, and minus four corresponds to z22. So like that, we have found the values for z11, z12, z21, and z1, z22. Uh, this is your required z parameters. Okay. So now they have found uh, asked to find again t parameters. So in these kind of questions, where where they asked to find two two parameters at the time. So you need to be knowing that this question carries only seven marks. Okay. So yeah. The most of the maximum marks is for the, the the calculation of z parameters. Okay, so in order to find the t parameters, we need to need to be knowing the interrelationship between these two parameters. That is, we need to write uh, t parameters in terms of uh, z parameters. Okay, so that we know that uh, t one one is equal to z one one by z two one when we uh, we are doing the interrelationship between these two. Okay. So we have the values of uh, directly for z11 and z21. Substitute that and get the answer. Here we got it as one, minus one by two, and here b that is t12 corresponds to delta z by z21, where delta z is given as t11 t22 minus t21 t12, and we all have all the values for these things. We would be getting delta z as 18. Substitute that, we would be getting minus three. C is equal to minus one by six, and D equal to two by three. Uh, write it in a matrix form, and these are your required t parameters. Okay. So this is your first question, nine A. Refer this. So we're getting the second question here. Obtain impedance parameters in terms of hybrid parameters. That is, impedance impedance parameters are z parameters, and hybrid parameters are h parameters. Okay. So first write the standard equations for impedance parameters. And we know that the equations for z parameters are given like this. One is for v1, and another thing is, and and then the equation is for i2. So now, in order to satisfy the condition here, we can see that this equation is there, right? v2. If you bring v2 to one side, we would be getting the relationship that v2. If you bring it in this equation, if you bring v2 to one side, and these two, uh, we merge it and write it on the other side, you will be getting standard equation for this. That only we need to be doing here, okay? So here, uh, take this h two to v two to one side and solve this, okay? And we would be getting one equation here, and substitute this three in this equation. That is first equation v one. This v two, whatever we have found it here, okay? That substitute it here, solve it, and we would be getting v one like this, where the coefficient of i one corresponds to z one one, and coefficient of i two corresponds to z one two, okay? And uh, from equation three here, we would be getting v two, right? We have directly uh, found it for v two here. That is the coefficient of i one is z two one, and this is z two. So write it. So this is the interrelationship that you need to be knowing. This is a direct question, okay? So if you want, you can refer it. 
So next 9C is a resonance problem. So this is a question, a coil of 20 ohm resistance has inductance of 0.2 Henry and it is connected in parallel with the capacitance of 100 microfarad. That is whenever the connections are in parallel, the capacitor is in parallel. So we can di directly say that the current is a, a parallel resonance circuit. So we need to find the resonant frequency in this case and also uh, we need to find the dynamic resistance. Okay. So the formula for parallel resonance is given as 1 by 2 pi into square root of 1 by LC minus RL square minus RL square divided by L square where RL is given as a 20 ohm and inductance value is 0.2 Henry direct substitutions make the substitution and find the value for F naught we got it as 31.847 hertz. And the dynamic resistance formula is given as L by CRL. Okay, so L is inductance, C is the capacitance, and RL is the resistance. They have direct values for that. Substitute it, and you will be getting it as 100 ohm as your answer. Okay, so if you want, you can refer this, pause it, and refer it if you want. So the next question is 10A. Find T parameters in the network shown here. So again, we are we need. Uh, so in this problem, I have done it by using the definitions. That is, when uh, I2 equal to 0 what we would be getting here. So first I uh, consider this uh, I2 as 0 here. So uh, this uh, strike it off uh, V2. This is not required here. I, I had made a mistake here. So here when I2 equal to 0 how would the circuit be looking like. Okay. So here uh, first uh, in this loop apply the uh, mesh analysis here. Write the equation. Name it as equation 1. And here we can see that this I3 is equal to phi I1. Right. Same direction. Uh, so opposite direction so this would be minus phi i1 so now at loop 2 again uh, apply mesh analysis so write the equations here uh, since i2 equal to 0 so uh, cancel this i2 write the other terms so v2 uh, v2 uh, is equal to minus 25 i1 i1 we got right so we needed the value for i1 by v2 so i1 if we bring v2 to other side and 25 to other side we would be getting i1 by v2 equal to minus 1 by 25 that corresponds to i1 by v2 corresponds to t21 right when uh, v, uh, i2 equal to 0 we get the parameter of t21 as i1 by v2 so we would be getting directly our answer as minus 1 by 25 so, so the same thing here so, so now what we need to do is we need to find v1 by v2 for that we need to be considering the this equation that is loop 1 in that substitute the value of i1 as so here we got it as i1 by v2 equal to minus 1 by 25 right so bring this v2 to other side so that would be i1 equal to minus 1 by 25 v2 so that you can substitute i1 in this equation and solve it you would be getting v1 and v2 terms bring it together that is v1 by v2 that corresponds to t11 right so you would be getting a final answer as 2.92 or keep it as it is that is 70, 73 by 25 okay so this was when uh, i2 equal to 0 so now we, we have another condition that is when v2 equal to 0 okay so when v2 equal to 0 uh, we need to short the we need to short this that is we need to put a line here and we know that uh, since here there is no resistance and in order to find its equivalent resistance here uh, 5 uh, 5 ohm into 0 that is this whole uh, branch becomes 0 so this resistance also will get eliminated here along with this 3 v2 because uh, the value of v2 is 0 right so this also gets eliminated here okay we are left with only uh, this loop here apply uh, mesh analysis we get v1 minus 2 i1 equal to 0 v1 equal to 2 i1 where i1 value of i uh, i1 is equal to i2 by 5 right since i2 and phi i1 we have same currents so substitute that and find the value for v1 by i2 that is equal to t12 here uh, minus 2 by 5 ohm and again same similarly we need to find the value of i1 by i2 that is t22 that's equal to minus 1 by 5 okay so substitute the values for uh, all the parameters we have found t11 t12 uh, t21 and t22 right so write it in a matrix form yeah so if you want you can refer it so this is 10b Express Z parameters in terms of ABCD parameters. Again, write the standard equations for Z parameters, uh, T parameters or ABCD parameters. So compare the equations where the this is common. So here in this uh, in this equation, if you bring this in the second equation, if you bring uh, 
v2 to one side and i1 i2 to other side this would be corresponding to the second equation of the z parameter right so we would be getting v2 as 1 by c i1 plus d by c i2 name it as equation 3 and substitute this uh, equation 3 in equation 1 here this v2 in place of v2 substitute that and solve it for v1 we would be getting equations for v1 as well as v2 just write the coefficients of all of the currents that is i1 and i2 and you would be getting z11 z12 z21 and z22 respectively okay so yeah you can refer it by pausing the video so this is the last question that is again related to resonance a 400 volt ac source is connected in series with a capacitor and a coil uh, whose resistance and inductance are 20 milli ohm and 6, 6 milli henry respectively if the circuit is at resonance at 200 volts hertz so they have given the resonance frequency that is 200 hertz we need to find the value of capacitor voltage across capacitor maximum energy stored by the inductor and half power frequency so that is f1 and f2 so this is the circuit they have given uh, the resonant frequency we know that the formula for resonant frequency is 1 by 2 pi square root of nc so here with the unknown value known here we needed to find the capacitor right so here we refine the value of capacitor we know the value of inductor so first square it on both sides f not square in order to eliminate this square root okay so this would be 2 square is 4 and pi would be pi square and this square root would get eliminated and 4 pi square uh, lc and f not square bring it to one side so the final value of c would be getting as 1 by 4 pi square l into f naught square but directly substitute all the values here you would be getting capacitance as 105.64 microfarad so in order to find the voltage across the capacitor the formula is i naught into minus j xc where xc corresponds to 1 by 2 pi f naught c okay so substitute that where i naught is equal to v by r where the value of v is a 400 volt source and as the value of resistance is 20 milli ohm substitute that and solve it we would be getting vc as minus j 150.6 kilo volt wherever there is a minus j right that corresponds to angle minus 90 degree okay so you need to be writing a final answer as 150.6 into the angle of minus 90 degree kilo volt okay this is your voltage across capacitor so maximum energy stored in a coil that is the formula for inductance energy stored in inductance that is equal to 1 by 2 into sorry half li square where the current here is i naught so we have already find the value of i naught in here right that is v by r again 400 by 20 milli ohms that would be getting we would be getting it as 20,000 amps substitute that here the value of inductance is 6 milli henry and since here the current here is not direct okay we need to consider the rms correct whenever you are substituting it for the maximum energy stored okay so rms we know that irms is equal to i naught into root 2 we have found the value of i naught here we need to be substituting the root 2 we need to multiply 20000 into root 2 so write 20000 into root 2 square and solve it we will be getting the final energy stored as 2.4 into 10 to the power 6 joule or 2.4 mega joule so now half power frequencies again we have direct formulas for f1 and f2 that is f1 is equal to f naught minus r by 4 pi l and f2 is equal to f0 plus r by 4 pi l we have the values for f0 r and l substitute that and we will be getting f1 as 198.408 hertz and f2 as 201.59 hertz okay so this is the problem related to the resonance so that's all uh, we have covered all the modules module question paper solutions for network analysis please 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 like share subscribe spread this video to a huge number so that uh, others would get helpful even me as well okay so yeah that's all for this session so if you want if you have missed the previous videos related to this please check it out the videos videos will be appearing down here and also if you want to refer the max videos of the, this sem we have already made the videos and kept it you can refer our playlists so that's all please 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 study well i've done my job it's now your turn to study and score good marks, okay? Thank you.